Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, August 6th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Click on the link below the video, get the free $60 account, use the free 60 bucks on my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Great way to give DocSports a trial run and uh, I think you'll be happy that you did so if you do so on Tuesday, so give it a shot. All right, let's get to what we got going on for Tuesday. First of all, yesterday over at DocSports.com, no premium picks yesterday. We decided to take a rare pass. We did get the win last night uh, with that over that we gave you in Major League Baseball. Thought it was going to be tough to get there because after the first couple of innings, they already had six hits between the two teams and no runs. And usually when you're looking at a double-digit total, a couple of innings like that where you put guys on base and don't bring anybody home kind of kind of puts the nail in the coffin, so to speak, with an over with a total that high. But KC and Boston topped that total, scoring 12 runs, going over 11 and a half. Got a free pick coming up in baseball for Tuesday in just a moment. Here's a couple of quick notes. Uh, we've got a six-unit WNBA play going on Tuesday. There's one game. It rates six-unit knockout elite-level status for us. You know what we did on Sunday. We cashed that big eight-unit play in the WNBA, my first of the season. Uh, that was an easy winner with Connecticut. And we'll head into Tuesday now, 66% with our last 37 WNBA plays. Go grab that six unit on Tuesday at DocSports.com. It'll be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific at any time after that. As far as baseball, we had the big weekend. We had the seven unit winner on Saturday with the Oakland A's. Came back and used them again on Sunday. Got another win out of them. We passed yesterday, as I mentioned, with our premium picks at Doc Sports. Right back in action. Uh, Got to play for you a four unit play on a Tuesday slate. It'll be over at DocSports.com at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Canadian Football League, you know how well we've done in that for a decade, 110 and 76. Uh, we're over 62% so far this season. Those plays for this week will be available at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. For those of you who ask, as will my NFL uh, preseason week one plays. I'm looking at two plays for sure uh, this week in the NFL preseason week one slate, and those plays will be posted at DocSports.com, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. But again, on Tuesday, big in a big major league baseball play, a big knockout play in baseball, and the six unit play in the WNBA, elite level WNBA play as we look to stay red hot in the WNBA. All right, before I get to the free pick, we're going to go back to our little thumbnail over under sketches on college football teams. We've had a couple thus far, and today we've saved the Nevada Wolfpack for today's report, and we like them to go over the total. Now, I'm using Westgate Superbook numbers where the total is six, uh, minus 120 on the over. We think this team gets over the total. If you look at Jay Norvell, man, I like this guy, and I've talked about this guy on radio shows for years. Uh, back when he was an assistant at Nebraska, uh, at Oklahoma for a little bit of a time spell, and then of course over uh, with the uh, NFL uh, where he was an assistant at times throughout his career. And I like this guy quite a bit, and I think he's at the perfect spot in Reno, Nevada uh, to be able to produce with this program. We saw him starting to bring around that offense last year. In fact, we saw the coaches on the offensive side of the football, the players also combining to put up some of their best numbers that we've seen since the Kaepernick years up in Reno. Here's the thing about this year's team. They've got great skill people. Uh, they've got a good offensive line. I like the offensive line. I like the skill position players that are going to be around the quarterback who looks like it's now going to be Malik Henry. We were kind of waiting on that, but due to injury, due to other things of that nature, we've got Malik Henry. You'll remember him from being recruited to Florida State a few seasons ago before getting into some off-field trouble. So if if Jay Norville can keep this guy's head screwed on right, keep him on track, keep him focused on the task at hand, it's a pretty darn good quarterback that Nevada's going to have in Mountain West Conference play over the course of the season. Really like the offense. Uh, the defense is unique. You know about that defense. Uh, they run that 335. That's tough to prep for uh, when you don't see it hardly at all for opposing quarterbacks and oppo opposing offenses, especially in the Mountain West Conference. If you look at how they're going to start out, they play home against Purdue. Listen, they're about a nine, nine and a half, even and 10 point dog uh, to Purdue in that game. It's not unimaginable that they can win that football game. Not saying necessarily that they will, but it's not out of the question. They will not win at Oregon. That would be an absolute shocker. Uh, but even if they start 0 2, home against Purdue, 
at Oregon. Check out the schedule, and I think you'll like it if you're on the over with me with Nevada. Uh, you've got five near gimmies for the Wolf Pack this year. Five near gimmies where they'll be laying double digits. One of those is going to be a road game at UTEP. So even if Nevada does start 0-2 out of the blocks against Purdue and Oregon, and I'm not saying again it's going to be an automatic loss to Purdue, but all they got to do from that point is win their five remaining home games, win the one road game, which would be at UTEP, where they're going to be a double-digit favorite and you're at six wins which is the over under wins total again using Westgate Superbook numbers so at the very least I'm looking at that slate and going push you got to go five and seven to beat us if we're on the over with the Nevada Wolfpack and I don't think this team is going to go five and seven I think they're a seven to eight win team eight wins with a couple of breaks and a couple of games where they're underdogs but I think seven wins for sure and again at the very worst you're talking about a six win season and you get the push but Nevada over the total I believe we got a seven win team here potentially an eight win team with the Wolfpack which would put them a game or two over that flat six over at the Westgate Superbook so the Nevada Wolfpack over six wins. Again, it's about minus a dollar twenty at the Westgate. All right. Again, before I get to the free pick for Tuesday's baseball, don't forget six unit WNBA post at DocSports.com at uh, one p.m. Eastern, ten a.m. Pacific. Sixty six percent run with the last thirty seven in the WNBA. We just hit the eight unit on Sunday. Let's rack it up and do it again on Tuesday. Major League Baseball. We got that four unit knockout for you. That'll be available at eleven thirty a.m. Eastern, eight thirty a.m. Pacific on Tuesday. Go grab both plays and let's sweep on Tuesday at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free pick. It's the clash between the Angels and the Reds at Cincinnati. Di Sclafani is going to be on the mound for the home team, and uh, Jose Suarez will be going for the Halos. The, the, the Angels came out of the break, I mean, as you know, on fire. They were just beating everybody for the most part and uh, went on a great run, and they did play an emotionally sound brand of baseball after the tragedy uh, that was suffered by this team uh, way back in, I think it was July 1st or something like that. But after the injury and losing another starting pitcher, they actually put it together and were playing well. There was a, a certain chemistry among the Angels over the next couple of weeks, and including oh, the first 10 games or so out of the All-Star break. But since then, this team has just kind of crashed and burned. Uh, the tragedy, the injury, that those kind of situations that have added up to this Angel pitching staff has really, really diminished any chance they had at a wild card run. And they've had their problems now of late. They've lost what, nine of their last 11. Uh, they had started this slide at two and six through eight games. They've now lost five straight games. And here's the problem during this run is that over the five straight losses, they've been in a situation where they're no longer scoring runs. You remember when they started this slide, uh, they were still scoring runs. The pitching just wasn't able to keep teams off the scoreboard. All of a sudden now during this five game losing streak, they can't score any runs anymore. They've got 12 runs scored during their last five games in these losses. And I don't think they're going to get to Di Sclafani. He's had a decent run. You know, nine of his last 10 games, he's pitched well enough. And I think he gets the job done here. And as far as Suarez is concerned, for the Angels, you're likely only going to get, I mean, five innings pitched tops. He's, you see him a lot of times going four to third, a little bit less than five innings. So even if he pitches well, probably no more than five innings. And I think uh, Cincinnati will be able to take care of the rest for Di Sclafani. So we're going to back the Reds here around $1.40 to $1.45 as I cut this video. That'll be our free pick for Tuesday. All right, that's going to do it for us. Don't forget about the free $60 account. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. Don't forget about baseball and the six-unit play in the WNBA. And uh, again, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com, and let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.